watch. That's Very nice. Hard. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are recording this episode with the worst ref of all time. He, <laughs> he refs for APW, AWS, Kingdom. Just to name a few. He's the man who his team choked last Sunday, referee Ben. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, went to the grand final. Um, yeah, that was very hard to watch. Very hard. Like, we, we literally had the game and then uh, just let it – let stupid errors. Um, yeah. And – in the end, it just killed us. But fuck, so close. Literally, yeah. so close. Yet so far. All right. <laughs> I started. I started. This, I asked this question a few times now. Two months ago, out of fucking nowhere, we lose one of the loudest fans in wrestling in Kyle Aid. What are some of your favorite yeah. memories of of Kyle at shows? Um. I always love seeing Kyle at shows. Um, I, f- I guess my favorite part was just every show we'd always interact and would say hi to each other. And then um, he, you'd always see the the excitement um, in his like in his face and the way he was acting was he was keen for every show and he truly was the big super fan of um, Aussie wrestling and. Um, yeah, I just love, I, I just love talking to him every show and love interacting with him. Um, I, I just, I think my favorite memory is just him getting as involved as he always did, um, at every show. Um, yeah, that's probably my favorite, my favorite memory of him. Very we passionate. Yeah. yeah very passionate he was, uh, he, he was a target supporter too. So uh, Tigers, he wouldn't yeah, right. be, t- yeah, he he uh wouldn't be too happy on how his Tigers went this year. Yeah, he'd be a tad exactly. pissed off, just a tad pissed off. But we know he is watching this. Yeah, he's watching over us, and every show we're gonna hear, here we fucking go. We're like motherfucker, he's right here. Yeah, so, I, I always have like the saying he always says, "Keep killing it as always." Um. Mm. And that's that's a cool line now. It's very iconic. Yeah. But yeah. All right. I'm gonna talk about this for a second. Birdman, I am I went to one show, fuck that shit, I am done. I am done with ABW. One show is good enough for me, pal. You've <laughs> ref there so many times. What's it like refing at those shows? Um Yeah, it's it's interesting. Like uh f- I feel like it's more eventful than other shows, just backstage and, um, yeah, it's definitely different. Like there's, I think there's wrestlers that probably shouldn't be wrestling. Like they, um, don't have like the, haven't been like fully trained or trained. Um, but, no, it's very, very eventful. They're fun shows. Um, and, yeah, it's it's kind of a different, different atmosphere um, being there to the other shows, if that makes sense. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's, very, it's, it's very different, if that makes sense. But, um, no, they're definitely fun shows. Now, AWS, I... Yeah, AWS. Didn't you ref the hardcore match between Marky Lord and Jackson Spade? What was yeah, that? Yeah, like? was that? <laughs> that was so. Referee? Oh, what was it? <laughs> that that match, I didn't had no idea that it was going to be like like that. So me at that time, I was I was very very early on in the my like refing career, and um. Yeah, like, I, I had no idea it was going to be like that. And then, like, because my counts went from being normal to being one, two, just because I and, – and then, like, just because I didn't want to cut my hands on any of the gla- – because it was everywhere. It was everywhere. Like, it's – yeah. But um, that that was I, – I was scared the whole match of, like, someone getting seriously hurt. Like, 
because I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that wrestling because um I don't know. I think it's just very dangerous and um all that. But yeah, that was very scary. It was definitely put me to another ex- uh, perspective on wrestling. But yeah, definitely interesting. Hmm. Now, what got you into training to be a referee? Like, who trains you to be a referee? One of the worst refs of all time. <laughs> um, so, I wasn't really trained to be a referee. I was, I, the, um, I started, I chose to be, to train as a wrestler um, through one of my mates. Um, shout out to um, Trady. He, he, he was the apprentice at the time, but Trady, um, lucky. Um, I known him before wrestling, and I found out he was doing wrestling, and I started doing wrestling. I might, and originally I had no interest in wrestling. Like I had no confidence at all. Didn't really know. Like I, I've watched wrestling all through my childhood, obviously, but um, had no idea of what what to do, um, how to be a good ref, and um. So I had no desires. And I remember I, I my first ever show was a Wrestling Go show. Um, and that was like in, oh, that would have been, April, I think that was WrestleMania Day 2021. I think you were at that show. Um, Hold on. That might have been one of the that. first times we met. But, um, mm-hmm. yeah, that was my first show. I, I, I didn't do good. I was, I was, I, I'd done better than what I expected, but, um, yeah, it um that it was a massive confidence boost just reffing that not that day and but I definitely wasn't um good then and um and then I didn't do it for a while and then um I started um I started ref uh, at the time I started reffing at PWA and then they asked me if I could do a academy show and hmm. I was kind of, I was kind of just asked randomly and um, I did. Um, yeah. And then ever since then, I've just had a massive confidence boost and hmm. I've been able to really find my own when it, um, when it comes to refing and I feel very comfortable. I've ne- haven't really had a, um, anyone teach me. I've had like kind of people that given me some advice, like, um, referee Nick, um, some of the wrestlers from PWA at the time. Um, but I feel like I've done a lot in the space of like two years that I've been wrestling one, one year nonstop. And then a year, a, kind of a year stop another year that I stopped and start, but, um, no, nah, it's definitely been a cool journey. Now the wrestling go show you were talking about was the, from black to gold show, April, e- yeah. April 11, 2021, just before the entire world said, go fuck yourself for the second time. And COVID hit. Yeah. Literally. Fuck. You were just a young lad. What are those shoes you are wearing? Jesus. Age Christ. Yeah. It was Cause a... I, I didn't, I didn't have made, um, any fully black shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, was God, that kinda... haircut's horrendous. Jesus. <laughs> I was kind of asked to ref, like, because back then I loved doing ring crew. I loved help setting up the ring and all that. Ring crew's like fun. That. FYI, people, if companies <laughs> ask you to help on ring crew, it's the fucking best. It's legit <laughs> fun as hell. Um, Yeah, so they, and then they asked me if I could ref. I'm like, oh, God, I've never ref before, but sure, why not? Like, And then I was, I was, stressing so much before I went out of that curtain and I got it um I don't know it's very daunting the first time doing it but um yeah that that was definitely I I I um glad I end up doing it because the amount of confidence you build from being out in the crowd refing um working with the wrestlers as a ref um it's amazing like it's definitely something that I enjoy doing Oh, wrestling go! They they put on good shows. Their last show was for Kyle, and I'm telling you right now, I heard him. I heard him at that show. He was there in spirit. Yeah. All who was, this ref sucks. Bring back ref Bam, like dude. But 
Ben sucks. He's he's that shit. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, we I uh, visited him on the way home on Tuesday because the um the Knights women had their reception at City Hall. Yeah. And on the way home, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I haven't seen him for such a long time. Went to visit him, spoke to him about 10, 15 minutes, played some music. He's still yeah. here. He's still here, and he'll be calling me a fucking crybaby. I'm telling you, he, he'll be calling all of us the cr- biggest crybabies of all time. <laughs> it, yeah. It, 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 it honestly feels like a bad dream that he's gone. It just, it just, it just doesn't seem real. But, yeah, I remember Kyle. when I heard about it, it was just like, what, like, I couldn't believe it. Like, no. something so, it, like, to me, at least, it was so random. And I'm just like, wow, that's massive. And I, I felt what? really sad for him and mm. his family. Like, that, it's terrible news. Mm. Very bad. <laughs> But like what Josh went through, like through his chemo, who was by his his um side, Kyle. That's yeah. the kind of friend he was, and he still is yeah. Josh. We yeah. can hear him, and he's saying the Broncos got screwed. <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucking Cleary, I'm telling you, he's a fucking. I don't like Cleary, but the only time I will I will ever cheer for him is when he plays for the Blues. That's it. Yeah. That's literally I, it. I hate the Panthers. I like Cleary. I like. I don't mind Toto. I don't like the rest of them. I had to go on a five-hour walk just to clear my head about that game. A eh? that was that's like the toughest loss I've ever had to take. And like, oh, my mind was everywhere. I was so upset, angry. I was a lot of things. I might. I was so invested in that game. Hmm. Now Reynolds just the the short dropouts, the short dropouts that what I don't I don't know why he kept doing them, but in the end they killed us. But yeah. I'm I'm still proud to be a Broncos member. Um, I I feel like we we do have a good team, still have a good team, even though we're lo- losing Farmworth and Flegler. But um. God, I hope we. I, God, I hope we can win. But like, I don't think I could do that and like go to the game and all that again if we lose. Like, God, that's an that's one of the worst pains you can feel, eh? Because you're very passionate about the Knights, and I respect that. I yeah, see you I mean, at every game and all that. You, like, the man is crazy. Yeah, thirty-two jerseys. Thirty-two jerseys. Oh, Whoa, I that's have. Plus, like, <laughs> plus, like, well, you always see you, you at games, boots, well, jersey, socks, cool. shorts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. I've so the game we played you guys in Brisbane earlier th- this season, we should have kicked your ass. We should have beaten the Broncos in Brisbane. If it wasn't for Adam Reynolds, a little flick pass, we, we, we would have won the damn game. Yeah. I think I'm I was so watching that game. highlight the other day. Yeah. <laughs> we should have class. We should have won. Spewing. We should have won again. <laughs> but now, uh, when's the next time you'll be refing a show? Um, I think I believe my next show is for AWS. Um, in um, November twenty fifth at Mortdale RSL. So I try and get there. I've, I haven't been to one of their shows for probably, oh, God, probably like a year or so. It's like, hold up, let me check. Good thing I have a YouTube channel, guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. AWS. <laughs> Where are they? They're here somewhere. AWA, APWG, New Japan, World Series, Suplex, Hunter Valley Wrestling Kingdom. Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go. Uh, 2022. Take me home, Forest Road. Damn, that was ages ago. That's at um, Bexley Manor Hall. A year and a half. Jeez. Oh, by the way, guys, stay the fuck away from APW. It's fucking dog shit. I went to like <laughs> one show and was like, yeah, nah, I'm good, mate. I'm, I'm sweet, mate. <laughs> fucking bird, man. Uh, I, I'm kind of taking a bit of, I'm kind of taking a bit of time away from wrestling at the moment. 
I'm mainly really mm. reffing at AWS and um, rock and roll wrestling. So mm. I've kind of taken a little bit of a back seat on it all. But yeah, a, a year and a half since my last AWS event. Jesus Christ, what have I That's done? Then? Ago. I remember you done some video, didn't you? Of um the whole show. Which show? APW? Yeah, or it might have been the one, maybe a couple shows before that. I remember you done some video of the whole show, like I've done like a oh. shorts. But um, yeah, that's oh. a that's a while ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, I just I attend like a lot of shows. Like now it's just like a couple shows every so often. Like yeah. my next show I'm helping out at is tomorrow, AWF. I'm All filming. Right. I'm filming the show. I'm well. I'm helping film, and then from there I'm off to see the hardest band in the world. Kiss. <laughs> and they've got World Series and IWA next weekend. So, no, yeah, right. quite good to finally, yeah, packed out month. I'm 27 in four days. 27. Good shit, yeah. Right. Good <laughs> shit, pal. God damn, some good shit. Ben, this has been fun. Good to finally get you on after how many months of wanting t- yeah. to do this? <laughs> months, months, years? Yeah, ages. Like, I remember when you first messaged, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm definitely keen. And then I think we just kept forgetting <laughs> about shows. Yeah. <laughs> the past few months, the past few months have just been like yeah, a roller coaster. Carl's past, you know, nowhere. Terry Funk, Bray Wyatt out of nowhere, too. Yeah, like, the fuck, man. Take Donald Trump. Give us Kyle back and Bray Wyatt back. Fuck's sake. Yeah, I'm pissed. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in again. I will be back this Sunday for WWE Fast Lane live reactions. We are back this Sunday. Until then, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. As Mister Jim Cornette says, "Thank you. Fuck you. Bye bye now." And Broncos suck. <laughs>